we're talking all things skincare in today's video and we look beautiful <laughs> i have the beautiful natalie with me she is a skincare guru yeah, will I'll, you take that name I, <laughs> yes i'll accept it yeah so we're going to talk about everything skincare do you have a skincare routine do you need sunscreen why are you mistreating your skin let's get into it <laughs> Natalie, welcome to the channel. Oh, thank you. Thank um, you so much for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. I want, I want you to introduce yourself to my audience. Hi. Hi, everyone. My name is Natalie. I am from Texas. Um, I've been in Kampala for a while now, and uh, I've loved every moment of it. Mm. And I'm just so thankful that you guys have allowed me into your space. Mm. and welcome me with open arms. Mm. Um, Soren is my friend, but now she's also someone I've worked with for a long time. So I'm mm. just happy. Kampala has been good to me. My skin mm. is glowing. Yeah. The sun is good. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for having me in your channel. You're welcome. Thank yeah. you for accepting to come. Oh, of course. Yeah. Today's Anything video. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Today's video is being shot at Serene Beauty. And that's why we look beautiful. Right. They've done our makeup. Yeah. And now Check. we're going to talk about skincare because for your makeup to look nice, the canvas has to be nice. nice. Yeah. So what got you in, interested in skincare? Actually, it was, it's funny because I never really knew anything about skincare growing up, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, I was doing some jobs in Houston and it was like modeling jobs, like mm -hmm. print modeling. Mm -hmm. But it, they always use things like they'll put gel in my face or like a moisturizer mm. and then they'll put makeup on but I'm like what is that stuff that you put on my skin that mm. feels so good because mm. I don't think I, I knew anything about skincare yeah, yeah. I mean when you're growing up in an African household it's Petroleum not something <laughs> yes <laughs> it's not something that's like known yeah so asking around I asked friends and because my skin was fresh and I didn't really need much so people would use me for their skincare mm. and so because I, I just inquired so much about it. I was recruited to work for a company called Clinique mm. at the time. Mm. And they trained me, they welcomed me. I mean, it was just a great first experience to really dig my feet into skincare. Yeah. Um, I love makeup too, but skincare is my, my love, like mm. my number one love. Mm. And so yeah, after Clinique trained me, they introduced me to, into the cosmetic world. Wow. I just never left. Like wow. I was, I never ever left, and wow. it's been over seventeen years now. Wow! And you were so, so fortunate to find out about skincare at a young age. Thank God. I yeah, <laughs> I struggled with it. Yeah, I wish I knew what I know now as a teenager. Hi. Like if you look at my skin, you'll see a lot of um, open pores that yeah. happened from the acne I got as a teenager. Yeah, and yeah. the sun exposure. And the sun exposure. Yeah. <laughs> and the pollution the pollution yeah let's start with the sun exposure <laughs> <laughs> people think that it's only the the fair toned the caucasians that yes. need sunscreen do we need sunscreen we have a lot of melanin our country is hot i know i know yeah. it's hard it's already hard to add another thing to your routine but mm. if i was to say anything about skincare i would say sunscreen should be your number one like line of defense mm. um, because the sun does so much damage that you don't see now you may see it later yeah like you say you wish you knew that you could protect your skin maybe yeah. you, maybe the pore wouldn't be so open if it was not exposed to the yeah. sun yeah. so what sunscreen really does is a layer that protects your skin think of it as a, an umbrella mm. over your skin mm. so it protects you from pollution from early signs of aging from for um for black skin you mm. see it in discoloration, mm. hyperpigmentation, uh, dark Break it spots. Down. Break it down. What's hyperpigmentation? Uh, an even skin tone. Mm. So for you would see that the inner layer it's is light. lighter than the outside. Yeah. So that's yeah. sun damage that you don't really know that it's sun damage, but mm. it is. Mm. And um, pollution will open your pores because it stays in your skin. And if mm. you don't can clean it properly, you continue to expose yourself, then mm. signs of aging, like sagging skin, because black people don't really get lines until mm. late, late, late. Much later. Yeah. yeah. But you feel a little bit of 
sagging, a little mm. bit of discoloration, especially mm. um, pores. Dull, dullness. Dullness, is, dull. yeah, dullness. Yeah. A lot of dullness. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I've been wearing sunscreen for a long time because I was fortunate enough to learn about it at a young age. Mm. But you can definitely see the difference in someone who wears sunscreen and someone who, someone doesn't. who doesn't. Yeah. I discovered sunscreen, I think, about two and a half years ago. <laughs> Well, good for you. At least it's not now. <laughs> At least you started two years ago. So I was yeah. telling someone, I'm looking for a lotion for my kids that has SPF. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm not sleeping. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. Um, I know sometimes here it's hard to get things that have SPF included in them. But if mm. you can find one for your kids, it's even better. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now I want you to take us through. If someone is a beginner, like I've been using petroleum jelly and any random lotion Anything. that I find in the shop, what's my basic skincare for a beginner? What do I need to have? Um, I would say start with a simple skincare routine. Hmm. First of all, before you do anything, find out your skin type. Mm -hmm. So if you know your skin type, then it'll be easier for you to purchase products according to your skin type. Okay, so how do I find out my skin type without going into a shop or having someone look at me? How do I know that my skin is oily or it's dry? Um, you, the feeling. So the way I ask people, I would mm. say when you wake up in the morning, you wash mm. your face. Yeah. Give it a minute to settle to in and dry mm. and see how your skin feels. Okay. From how you feel without anything on your face will really determine your skin type. Mm. So if you wake up, you wash your face, and you feel a bit of tightness, a little bit of dryness, dryness. Mm. but it's comfortable, mm. then you're probably oily. Okay. If you wash your face and it's dry and you feel the tightness, it's uncomfortable, you feel like you need to put something on, then you're more on the dry, dry side. side. Mm. Yeah. So um, if your skin is flaky, flaking off, mm. usually when there's nothing on it, white you can see the dry. white, yeah. little white heads, sometimes it flakes off then you're definitely on the dry, dry side. side. Mm. So when you're buying product, you go and ask for something for dry skin. Yeah, yeah. And if you're comfortable without anything on, you ask for things for normal skin. Mm. But then if you wash your face and when it dries, immediately you see the shine, then you know you're oily. That's, That's you. me. <laughs> yeah. That's me. So now you know how to tell your skin type. Yeah. So now that we know our skin type, mm -hmm. let's start with me oily skin what do I need to have um, you would do first you would do a face wash uh, something simple uh, like this uh, this is a Korean product okay. it's good for morning uh, um, it's very lightweight but it foams up really well so uh, you wash your face uh, uh, if you're wearing makeup you would need a makeup remover uh -huh. so something should, should I you would use some this is this is an amazing balm that melts mm -hmm. off everything, including eye, eye makeup remove, like anything, it could remove your makeup, mm -hmm. eye makeup, um, anything waterproof, it removes it. It melts it off, you wash with warm water, mm -hmm. and then you do your, mm -hmm. your wash. But tell us why we don't wash off our makeup with like our normal cleanser. Because what happens usually when mm -hmm. the makeup is not melted off the skin, mm -hmm. it just sits in your pores. And so even if you wash it, it's not going to get... No, it looks like it's off, but if, if you take a cotton ball and uh, wet it with something and you wipe, wipe it, you will see. You will see that there's yeah. access there. And also pollution. Here, there's a lot of pollution. Yeah. All the dust, the dust sits fumes, in your skin. Uh, it sits on your skin. Uh, well, you might not be able to see, but it really does. Yeah. And yeah. So, so, number one is how to clean your skin. Yes. So, get a cleanser. Leave the bars. Leave the soap bars. Stop yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Get a gentle cleanser that will clean your skin yeah. without stripping it. Yes. And please. then if you wear makeup like we're wearing today, you we'll need start. a balm. Yeah. Don't mm. don't wash off the makeup with just soap. So that would be double mm. cleansing, right? Yes. If you use this and then you later wash with yeah. a cleanser. But this is just for night night time. This is night time. is that's when you do a double cleansing, obviously mm. when you're taking up your mm. makeup. Mm. Morning routine is a bit quicker because all you do is wash. Um, you do a toner if you have a toner. Something like this. Mm. This is great for uh, hyperpigmentation and acne as well. That's for me. It's a spray. As oily skin people. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. It's a spray. So you let it soak in a bit mm. and then you put on your moisturizer. Okay. Um, but you do moisturizer during the day and then sunscreen. Mm. Nighttime, mm. you replace your moisturizer with an, a treatment, which is oh, a serum. 
So, so you, this at nighttime you don't moisturize. You don't use this moisturizer. You use this one okay. because you want. This is a treatment. Okay. It will help you with lines, wrinkles, um, firmness, mm. pores. Mm. So anything that has treatment in it, it's better to use at nighttime because that's when your skin is resting mm. and it does double the work when you mm. you put a product that will help with. Yeah. Prevent. So things that things that treat are the serums, the retinol, yeah. retinol, vitamin the, C. The, Colas Choice Exfoliate. Yes, right? that also yeah. treats really well. Um, um, yeah, serum, any type of serum, anti-aging firmness, mm. uh, hyperpigmentation, all yeah. that. Because I've seen great. people make the mistake of using that Colas Choice Exfoliator during the day, in the morning. I wouldn't only because it's already, it strips your skin a bit and mm. it's strong. Mm. And imagine the sun outside Exposes without any skin. sunscreen, mm. you expose your skin to more damage. Mm. So you get sunburn actually, yeah. eventually. Okay, so now would you advise someone with my skin type to use vitamin C? Yes, at nighttime only. Mm. And when you do vitamin C or retinol, please, please, please wear sunscreen. If you're not Say wearing sunscreen, <laughs> Please. <laughs> For the people in the back. <laughs> if you do any treatment, meaning yeah. um, vitamin C, retinol, retinol, anything like that, make sure you wear sunscreen during yeah. the day. Yeah. If you don't want to wear sunscreen, don't do any of those treatments. Yeah. Because you're just you're exposing your sun to more damage, your, yeah. your face to more damage. Yeah. So. And another thing that I learned is you need to do the research yourself. Because something that we Ugandans do, I'll come and see your skin, Natalie. Mm. Natalie, what do you use? <laughs> and that's yeah. what I'm going to buy yeah. and use. And yeah. then it won't work for me and I'll be like, maybe I got fake products or what yeah. if we're using something that was not for your skin. Yeah. Okay. And that's why it's important to know your skin type. Mm. Because if you know your skin type, even if you like my stuff, it could be the same brand. It would just be catered to, to your, skin. your skin type. Yeah. So I could use something for oily skin and you mm. could use it for for dry skin and it won't work yeah, for you. Yeah. Yeah. So now if someone has dry skin, what do they use? Do they use my routine as well or uh no. If mm. someone have dry skin, they will use the same gentle wash uh -huh. that we showed. Uh -huh. But they will use something more thicker, something that's uh more concentrated, like a little bit of heavier cream. Uh -huh. Not necessarily for uh oily skin because the oily skin people the moisturizer would be a little bit has to be heavy yes a little bit heavier of that, of those? i have samples i will mm. it's Soren beauty have everything that we're talking about today so yeah. if they need anything she'll tag yeah if you want any it. of this skincare please yeah. come to serene beauty yeah they are very accessible and the things are affordable and your skin will thank you for yeah. it oh trust yeah. me yeah you won't be disappointed <laughs> yeah yeah but they'll have something for uh dry skin so dry skin you just need a bit more hydration yeah than some who's oily mm. what you want for dry skin is something to add moisture into your skin mm. versus you want something to take away moisture mm. so there are two different things mm. so they will use the same routine of wash toner and then moisturizer but it will just mm. be a different moisturizer mm. and tell me what in, what ingredients should someone with dry skin look out for in their products um, like what should their products have they don't would definitely be glycerin no, anything with no glycerin, glycerin. Mm. Um, you want natural ingredients, mm. something for hydration. It, it would say something like hydration, specifically for dry skin. Um, it should say something for hydration, like mm. look for the word hydration. So is that like hyaluronic acid? Um, hyaluronic acid would be something for nighttime because mm. this one has hyaluronic acid in it, mm. but it's still a very lightweight moisturizer. Okay. So it would still say moisturizer, but it would say mm. more heavier cream mm. or hydration. Mm. This one is a really good one. But for someone who's dry, you would definitely have to apply a little bit more than someone who's like mm, oily. Yeah. Okay. So this will work for both. Okay. Yeah. So what ingredients? I want you to really break it down so that when someone is done watching this video, mm. they can just walk into a shop and know what they need. Mm. So what ingredients should I look out for in my products? What what should be in my products? Mm. Hyaluronic skin? acid is a really good one. Uh, uh, vitamin C. Anytime a cream have a good vitamin C and it is very very good for you yeah um but if you use it obviously please use sunscreen with all of these things um I'm, I'm i think if, if natalie had a cane <laughs> <Like>, should be <laughs> <I will. laughs> yeah so hyaluronic acid i always look out for it it helps with firmness it helps with keeping your skin um looking fresh all the mm -hmm. time um and 
I mean, retinol mm-hmm. would be more for nighttime, but hyaluronic acid is great for daytime. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I'll and do both. I, I also use niacinamide. Is it a good idea? It's, it's, it's good, yeah. yeah. So now if someone has combination, mm-hmm. like some parts are oily, some parts are dry, what, what products do they pick? Uh, it depends <laughs> on where they are dry. Mm. If someone is dry on their cheeks and have oil in their T-zone, mm. they use things for hydration. That will help kind of balance the water and oil in their skin. Because what they want really is to take out some of this oil mm. and balance it on their cheeks, right? Okay. Mm. So that's when you get a really good toner that will help you with that. Mm. So toner will do that work and then moisturizer will just kind of seal it. Okay. And they will do something for oil-free but lightweight that's not too heavy. Mm. So hyaluronic acid is really good for all those skin type, but mm. you just be catered to a different mm. brand, like a different variety of moisturizers. Okay. So what, what ingredients should someone with dry skin look out for? I think niacinamide is a really good one. Niacinamide is yeah. good. Mm. Niacinamide is great because they can, they can even mix the two. But mm. I think hyaluronic acid works good for like a normal skin to oily. Mm. And niacinamide also works really well for, that will work better for drier skin. Yeah. I yeah. think. But when, just look for mm. something that is natural, that doesn't have any acids that mm. you don't if, if you can pronounce the ingredients don't buy it, <laughs> don't buy it. <laughs> uh, if the person selling it doesn't really know what it does don't buy it yeah. um don't buy anything with fragrance in it unless you really like things that smell for me i just don't see the mm. need to put fragrance in skincare mm. because you could be allergic to the fragrance that's in especially the people with sensitive skin yeah yeah even someone else who mm. just have normal skin. Mm. Because then what happens is the fragrance gives that smell, mm. but then you don't know what else is behind it. Mm. And usually those fragrances are not tested heavily as they do with sun, yeah. like sunscreen yeah. or any other mm. product they mm. put in the moisturizer. Mm. So. Another thing I've learned on this journey is when I'm struggling with skincare, everyone wants to give you advice because mm-hmm. <laughs> my skin was really breaking out mm-hmm. so now my mom any advice they would give her like daisy that's what we're going to <laughs> and in uganda we have a number of people that mix like mm. they mix different things so they'll give you a, a, maybe like a white tin yeah. but it has no pepper no label Nothing. you don't know what is inside mm. so even if your skin clears you are dependent yeah. on this person uh-huh. if this person and you dies, don't know what's inside <laughs> you're skin, done you don't know what's inside yeah and then i also realized that those things were actually lightening my skin. Mm. Like when I, when I look back at those pictures, mm. my face looked so different mm. compared to the rest like of everywhere. my body. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it was it probably had something strong like retinol. They just yeah. didn't call it that. Anything you you see lightness towards your skin. Yes, some did you use something with salicylic acid in it? I what did no you idea. use? Because oh. no <laughs> a lot of acne treatment will either have will have salicylic acid in it. And what salicylic acid does is great to take away all the breakouts. Mm. But then in return, your skin becomes more sensitive, a little bit more, a little bit lighter, but not necessarily bright, like light. Mm. Mm. But you definitely feel that your skin is more sensitive. Mm. So you probably notice the lightness because you didn't even wear sunscreen no. to protect your skin. <laughs> yeah. So then in return, you get pores because yeah. your skin is just trying so hard to protect itself against mm. the sun. Mm. So that's probably what happened. Yeah. So if someone gives you something that doesn't have the label for ingredients, don't use it. I know. It's yeah. hard. It's hard because in this market, anybody can just give you anything. Mm. And you know, like, you know, people who have really good stuff and you don't know what's inside, you just trust them. Mm. I just have learned not to do that, especially when it comes to your face, maybe yeah. your body, but yeah. your face definitely. Because you can't change don't your face. It. You can't cover it. You're not going to walk and with now, a t-shirt. And now you have to depend on makeup, like heavy makeup yeah. and the, it's hot outside. So yeah. makeup should just be an accessory. Yes, it's beautiful. We love it, but it should be an accessory. Mm. Just you don't have to depend on it if you mm. take care of your skin. It's mm. an investment you make. Like, mm. just think of your skincare as an investment. Yeah. Like, yeah. just invest in it and love yourself. It should just be something you do for yourself. Because mm. in the long run, you protect your skin, then you don't have to worry so much mm. about the damage. Mm. Now, I know my people. They're going to say, Natalie, your skin is beautiful because it's <laughs> genetic. Does your mom have gorgeous skin? Do you think that your skin is beautiful because it's genetic or... Um, I think both. Mm. I'm not going to lie. My mom has beautiful skin. Mm. Um, I think what has helped me though, that with my skin is I started this journey of skincare very early on. So it has prevented so many things like 
discoloration, it prevented sagging, it prevented dullness. Mm. So my skin like kind of kept the, the glow of, of it, I guess I should say. Mm-hmm. Um, I kept the glow longer. Yeah. And so I'm almost going to my 40s now. Um, but I started it very young. So yeah. I think I maintained the glow and the youth, maybe. Yeah, because um, someone wouldn't think you're in your late 30s. Oh, yeah? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. You look like so. you're in your I, 20s. I think what skincare does, to be honest with you, mm. it just helps prevention. It prevents signs of aging or sun damage mm. or whatever it may be. Mm. Yes, you could have good skin, but if you don't take care of it, honestly, it's not going to be good for a long time. Yeah. It's just the truth. Yeah. Now someone will say, my grandma never used sunscreen, she never used any of these things, and she is okay. They also had a different lifestyle then. Mm. So they probably didn't have as much pollution as we have now. Mm. Um, they didn't struggle maybe with the sun mm. as much as we do now. Mm. And our lifestyle is different, the food is different. What they were eating, we yeah. a lot of sodas and fried food. You know, because now there's so much sugar, there's so, like... Things are not as healthy as mm. it was back then. Mm. So I don't know. It's it just a little bit of both. Just yeah. do what feels comfortable for you. Don't mm. dive into it and having like seven products on your bathroom mm. where you're mm. confused. Mm. Like start slowly. Start with a, a little bit of, make sure a you have cleanser. a cleanser. You definitely have sunscreen. And you the have moisturizer. a moisturizer. Mm. And later on when you feel like, okay, I'm comfortable with this and I know what I'm doing then add. You can mm. keep adding on to your treatment. That's mm. how people have like 13 steps. Yeah. They didn't start that way. Yeah. They started very young. Mm. Like I started with three steps for mm. like 10 years. Mm. I only did three steps. I did wash, toner, and moisturizer. Mm. And of course, when I wore makeup, I removed it. Mm. But then I graduated into like anti-aging and mm. all these other things that I'm doing and the mask. And But mm. you graduate slowly. Mm. You know, mm. it's just a routine. It takes a long time. Mm. Just be patient with yourself. Be patient. Yeah. Be patient. Um, I also want us to talk about the do's and don'ts. <laughs> you've seen how Africans, and I, I don't want to stereotype, but you've seen yeah. how Africans wash We are their definitely. Faces. Just go all in. Yeah. <laughs> what are the do's and don'ts of skincare? Don't, don't scrub your face, please. <laughs> and you'll see people with um, those just, face towels yeah, and they're just, really scrubbing. I know I also went through that stage because yeah. when, my, when my skin was really breaking out. Yeah, you um, felt like, like it was re- not. Yeah, I felt like maybe out. it's dirty. Maybe yeah. that's why it's breaking out. So I would really go all in. I was using, um, what's it called? Clean and clear. Oh, God. Yeah. Mm, so yes. it was so hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do's and don't. Okay. Mm-hmm. For someone who suffers from acne, mm-hmm. please don't use any scrubber. And if you do, Make sure you clean it thoroughly because mm. what hap- what really happens when you have acne is I'm scrubbing here with this towel. I'm just spreading. I take it everywhere. So mm. you're basically just spreading the bacteria from here mm. everywhere into your face. Mm. Um, be gentle with your skin. Love your skin. Please don't scrub sure it. Show us gentle. Show us gentle. <laughs> the, when you apply eye cream, use your ring finger mm. because your ring finger is the most gentle finger and just yeah. pat it in. Yeah. And when you use your skincare, pat it in. Don't rub mm. because trust me, your skin will just thank you for it mm. later. Imagine you're, 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 you're washing a baby's, a yeah. baby's yes. face. The way yeah. you are with your baby yeah. is really so be really the gentle. <laughs> the same yeah another don't another don't uh don't go outside with a sunscreen please like (laughs) i'm crying (laughs) but even if you're in your house don't we need sunscreen i wear sunscreen everywhere because this is an a perfect example look how much sun there's a window here here. and there's sun coming yeah so this is already sun exposure without Mm. me going outside today Mm. Mm -hmm. um yes sunscreen um, take off your makeup before you go to bed, please. Don't sleep with I makeup. I hope my sister on. sees this, actually. <laughs> <laughs> take off your makeup before you go to bed. Like, oh, I like I cry. I'm like, why? <laughs> when we had the makeup class last month, yeah. Natalie's sister, you know, said, you know what, my beat is so nice, and yeah. I have an event tomorrow. I'm not going to wash it off. And, she's there, and I'm like, well, you're killing me inside. <laughs> Like, yeah, I have to be a witness to this. Please take off your makeup before you sleep. Mm. You don't. You don't want your pores clogged with makeup, any uh, pollution, anything like that. Just be mm. gentle. Wash your face before you go to bed. Mm. Even if you don't have time to do all the routine, at mm. least wash it off, mm. and then you can start tomorrow. Mm. Um, 
what else? Because I think your skin regenerates in the night. It so does. While it's regenerating, it's going to be absorbing that. Yes. And that's why makeup. it's good to do your treatment at night. Because mm. your skin is regenerating mm. and you add all these treatments for mm. lines, wrinkles, firmness, mm. uh, brightening, the retinal stuff. Yeah. Anything yeah. Tra- treatment wise is yeah. great for night time. Yeah. 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 Do you have any other do's or don'ts? <sighs> um, I think that's about it, Philly. Mm. Oh, please, if you wear retinol, retinol, mm. or any of this vitamin C, everything we've talked about as treatment, mm. just wear sunscreen, don't mm-hmm. do that. And just remember to wear sunscreen. If you yeah. don't, then don't use any treatment. Yeah. Yeah. Just use regular stuff. So those treatments are the BHAs, AHAs, yes. the niacinamide, the acne retinol, treatment. any acne treatment. Yes. Use yes, sunscreen. Wear sunscreen in the And even time. if you don't, if you're trying to get into skincare, let your first product be sunscreen. Sunscreen. Yeah. I then will. get a cleanser, then I'm yeah. it. <laughs> I would do cleanser or sunscreen. But mm. if you just have to get one thing, I would mm. say get a sunscreen. Okay. Something that works for you. But okay. it's made for black skin, so you don't feel the you don't see the white film mm. that sunscreen leaves usually. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So when we had the beauty bar in April, you introduced me to Korean skin beauty. Yeah. Tell us why. Why, why do you advocate for Korean skin beauty? Because we've seen all these others and I'm sure many of us have gotten into them. But why yeah. do you... And I was um, a La Roche-Posay person. Oh, I know. I, I love La Roche-Posay too. Yeah. I do actually. Uh, the reason I went the Korean route was uh, my skin my skin is very sensitive. Mm. So I've always been very careful at what I put on my skin. And I was introduced to the Korean skincare by... Someone introduced this to me because I was running Mm. out of my wash. Mm. And I wasn't so crazy about it anymore. I was just Mm. getting to a point of like... I felt like my skin was a little more sensitive to the the stuff I was using. And it was very expensive stuff. (laughs) Um, So she shared this with me. And she said, have you ever heard of uh, Korean Korean, Mm -hmm. uh, skincare? Mm. I was like, you know what? I have never really... Paid attention. Paid attention. I was in my own bubble. Because when you're in the U.S., there's so many things that come in your way. Yeah. And they're so accessible to you. You don't think of outside. Mm. And so I was like, actually, no, I have never heard of, you know, Korean, sun, uh, Korean skincare. Mm. And um, that was introduced to me. I tried it. I fell in love with it. So I went to do more research. And I found out that they've been making skincare for years like wow. two, 200 plus mm. even thousands of years so they mm. have so much technology that cater to more sensitive skin but you still get everything you need mm. usually when you look for things for sensitive skin it would be hard to find something for anti-aging mm. like you really won't be able to find everything but when i went to korean skincare i was quite impressed yeah and it was the first time that i wore a sunscreen that, that went clear like it was clear on my skin i didn't need to apply no anything white cast else. No. no white cast mm. i was like oh like this is great yeah. so yeah after yeah. sunscreen i just went all in i did my research i found a brand that i loved and mm. so it's been almost two years now that i've mm. strictly just used korean product mm. Mm. And so when I found out how great they were on me, I recommended to so many of my friends. And mm. when I came here, I was like, I have to introduce girls to this. Like, yeah, yeah. And they're, they're okay, affordable compared. Because of the ingredients that they have, they're so good and so natural for your skin mm. that if someone else made it, it would be much more expensive. Mm. And it would be more, okay. yeah. Mm. So what would you say to a 25-year-old watching us who has no skincare routine, does, like her skin is beautiful she has mm-hmm. never had acne or breakouts what would you say to her uh get a skincare routine mm. start your anti-aging at 25 yeah because what you want to keep the same glow that you have now yeah. for 10 or 15 more years mm. the earlier you start treatment the, the better it is honestly mm. because some damage whether like whether it's pores or lines or anything once they, they're there it's very hard to reverse it. Very hard. You yeah. can reverse it by like surgery or like plastic surgery or stuff like that. Yeah. But once they're open and once you have lines, they really don't go anywhere. Mm. So you want to start a skincare routine to help you prevent those damage. Bad damage. Yeah. 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 Really. yeah. And then to someone who is struggling with acne. Oh, acne is... Because it really plays with your self-esteem, yeah. with your confidence. Um, there are so many acne products that have worked that I know of. Mm. Uh, you want to be very gentle and you want to choose 
be very specific at what you put on your face. Mm. Make sure whatever you use is oil-free. It's targeted for oily skin because you don't want to add any more moisture for the acne to feed on. Mm. You want to completely dry it out mm. and treat it slowly. Mm. So be gentle, be patient. It's a process. It will take a little longer. Yeah. I know it takes a while and, um, and you know, messes with your yeah. self-esteem and, really and how you when feel. When you start a skincare routine, yeah. you expect to wake up in the morning no. looking. Mm-hmm. A skincare routine would take yeah. a while. Like you probably won't see a difference in a month. Mm. But for acne, thankfully, you might be able to see the difference quicker. Maybe you have a few less weeks. Breakouts, yeah. yeah, you have less breakout. It will dry out slowly. But just be gentle and have patience mm. with your skin. Just like be anything, patient. it will take time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, what other thing shouldn't mm. someone who has oily skin put on their skin? There's a time when there was a trend for coconut oil, and mm. people were like, "If you have any problems, coconut oil. <laughs> if your husband does it, no. coconut oil on him." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I the only reason I would suggest that for people who are oily or mm. acne prone mm. is it just adds more oil into your skin, mm-hmm. so you're prone to breakout and acne for mm. sure. Mm. And you're your pores get your clogged. pores get clogged, yeah. so you need a really good cleanser to take it off. Mm. Now, people who are dry can probably manage if they have a great routine with their wash, mm. but if they don't, mm. I, I wouldn't suggest to do it. I used to do it um, if I don't have my makeup remover to melt my makeup off, mm. but that means I'll just add extra step, which mm. means I melt it off, I wipe it off, then I wash then with cleanse. my cleanse with warm water to make yeah. sure it's completely off of my skin. Yeah. And I don't think a lot of people would take time to really do that. So mm-hmm. I'll just stay away from it if you don't have a good skincare routine already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, um, do we need eye cream? <laughs> yes. People in their 20s, <laughs> 30s, do we need eye cream? Anyone. I think anyone needs eye cream only because uh, the eye area is the most sensitive and it's skin on, shows on your body yeah. and that's where it shows you first signs of aging will always show on your eyes so just cater to your <laughs> eyes please use an eye cream a yeah. good eye cream that you can find mm-hmm. uh, do, uh, you can do something just for moisture around mm-hmm. the eye mm-hmm. but it, it has to be made specifically for eye area mm-hmm. just don't take your vaseline and rub it on your eyes <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah you definitely need an eye cream mm-hmm. But it's something that you can add along the way. But you yeah. do need an eye cream. Mm. You shouldn't use the same body cream on your mm. eyes, just like you shouldn't use your face cream on your eyes. Mm. Your eye area are very sensitive. Mm. And so just be gentle and cater to it properly. Mm. Mm. I keep telling people who tell me they have no skin keratins, what their petroleum jelly is working mm. perfectly for them. I ask them, when you're 50 years old, do you want to look back and say, I wish I had had a skincare routine? Or... <laughs> You'll be there. Uh, yeah, you, you'll be there with your petroleum yeah. jelly. Yeah, or you no. just thank God that you started your skincare. Yeah. Right? I think it's always good to know. It's knowledge. Mm. Do your research. Find out what works for you. Know your skincare type. Mm. Like, just cater to your skin properly like you do anything else. Yeah. But I think skincare is very important. Mm. Develop a routine that works for you. So mm. if you're a mom, like her and I are, Mm. you don't get a chance to do all the routine. So then like twice a week, I really take time and care for my skin Mm. at night time before I go to bed. Mm. And just make sure your skin is properly synced in before you go to bed. Don't put it on and rush to bed because you're just going to take it off. (laughs) Just like do dishes as you're washing dishes, put in your skincare. And let it sink for at least an hour, right? At least an hour if you have it. Yeah. Yeah. And use silk pillowcase. Silk pillowcase <laughs> and satin bonnet. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mm. Natalie, I want you to also address diet. <laughs> Does soda affect what my skin looks like? Can I eat fries? Like, what do I need to eat for my skin to look good? Like, okay, I might eat fries today, yeah. but what things shouldn't miss in my diet for me to have good skin? Um, what I've been told is just having a nice diet would be. Make sure you're taking your vitamins, mm-hmm. if you do. Mm. Have some sort of like a multivitamins for yourself, just mm. to replenish what you're not having from your food. Mm. Um, just vegetables are very good. Mm. Natural juices are great, if mm. you can. Of course, you can splurge and have fries and have mm. s- sodas, mm. sugar. But the more you add those things, you just have to remember 
that you're going it's going to show up somewhere mm -hmm. and most likely on your face mm -hmm. so just be cautious yeah. i would say when yeah. it comes to diet that yeah. is a hard thing because mm -hmm. i'm not even good at <laughs> But at least you should been hydrate. To Uganda, I <laughs> You've been eating badly <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But hydration is important, so uh -huh. I just walk around with my water bottle. Uh -huh. yeah. And if you don't wear sunscreen, at least have an umbrella, wear a hat, uh -huh. sunglasses, sunglasses, yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for converting you. me to skin to uh, Korean skin beauty. <laughs> I started with the sunscreen. Yeah. I forgot in the brand, but yeah. it's Korean beauty. That one yeah. with the blue. Yes. The blue leaf. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope this video answers all your questions. I, I hope want so too. Yeah. <laughs> I want it to be the one stop shop for skincare. Yes. Like you come here, you watch it, and at least by the time you leave, you know your skin type, you know how to start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So drop any co any of the questions that you may have in the comments and yeah. Natalie will answer them. Yes. As we go yeah. along. Yeah. And anything you need, Soren Beauty will provide. All yeah. the skincare, makeup, mm. questions that you have, mm. um, everything you need will be here. Yeah. yeah. So all that all that skin beauty is going to be here. Yes. At Serene Beauty, and you can come and get it. Yes. Yeah. Thank and what you, I love you. is that a little goes a long way. Yes. You might especially. see you might see the bottle is really tiny, but you just need Very a piece little. size, and yeah. it will last you for months on end. And then yeah. See you in the next one. See ya. Don't forget to like. Share, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Yeah. And Bye. follow me, please. And follow questions. Natalie on Instagram. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>